Darth Vader is no fool. He senses that Shizor is up to something. But what? He'll eventually find out, but in the meantime, he needs to remain focused. Although the Dark Lord of the Sith draws mystical powers from the dark side of the Force, he must also rely on his physical prowess. One way he keeps in top shape is by regularly sparring with his specially programmed ASP assassin droids, which are adept with a lightsaber and can easily dispatch most opponents. However, they're no match for the lithe and quick Vader. After disarming this one with a sharp blow, he slices off its head. It is a devious dance of mutual mistrust that Shizor and Darth Vader do when the Dark Prince is summoned to the lair of his hated rival. Each knowing that the other is recording his every move, they discuss how Black Sun can aid the Imperial cause. Shizor's ultra-powerful criminal organization has many legitimate fronts, including shipping operations which the Emperor wishes to utilize in constructing a second Death Star. Shizor agrees, though his motives are anything but patriotic. He's long sworn to avenge his family's death, the result of a biological experiment gone awry at the hands of Vader. Now, everything is going according to his plan. From his impenetrable palace on Coruscant, Shizor wields his far-reaching powers in many ways. He rarely dirties his own hands while operating a crime syndicate that controls virtually every illicit activity throughout the Empire. Yet when a wild-eyed attacker confronts him in the palace corridor, Shizor demonstrates his awesome martial arts prowess. He hardly breaks a sweat in subduing the assailant who blathers about Shizor killing his father, a former business competitor. After reminding the vengeful son that the death was a suicide, following an unwise gamble to outsmart Shizor, the Dark Prince breaks the young man's neck. Shizor's lieutenants, each a trusted Vigo, Tionese for nephew, are seated around a long table in their uncle's private meeting room. They're nervous and not because of any bad news. The Vigos know that besides giving reports on spice smuggling, gambling, arms dealing, slave trading, and other Black Sun operations, they are here for a more important reason. One of them is a traitor, and Shizor is about to expose him. With Guri's able assistance, the Vigos quake as the beautiful human replica droid strolls around the table while Shizor speaks of loyalty and betrayal. They hold their collective breath each time she passes one of them. Guri finally stops behind Green the human. He is the one among Shizor's trusted Vigos who has betrayed Black Sun and its omnipotent leader. Green will now pay for his sins. Green tries to flee, but Guri, like a striking boa constrictor, whips her arm around his neck and literally squeezes the life out of him. As the other Vigos watch in horror, Shizor marvels at Guri's deadly finesse. His human replica droid that easily passes for a woman is unique. The only one of her kind programmed to be an assassin. She is a cool, efficient killing machine. At times like this, Shizor can assure himself that 9 million credits was really a bargain price for this HRD. Shizor, the Dark Prince and Overlord of Black Sun, controls a vast criminal empire and possesses incalculable wealth. Yet he is increasingly obsessed with his plot to assassinate Luke Skywalker. In the process, Shizor hopes not only to exact revenge on Vader and ruin the Emperor's trust in the Dark Lord, but also to move himself closer to his ultimate goal, total control of the Empire. In laying the groundwork for his sinister plan, Shizor entertains the loathsome Jabba, the Hutt, feeding him squirming insectoids while extracting useful information concerning the location of Boba Fett and his captive, Han Solo. Shizor knows that Skywalker can't be far behind. When he's not lording over the corrupt business of the galaxy, 
Shizor reaps the untold benefits of being the head of Black Sun. With that power, plus the Faline pheromones that make him irresistible, he has no trouble attracting beautiful women, yet he dumps them just as easily. On this drizzly evening, as he leaves the home of yet another ex-mistress and steps into his armored luxury coach, he orders the droid chauffeur to take him to Menorai, the most exclusive restaurant on Coruscant. While he dines on some exotic dish, Fleek eel, or perhaps Kashyyyk land shrimp, Shizor can ponder this plot to kill Luke Skywalker. You can download the data set for Darth Vader's voice on Patreon now. I command you to leave a like, subscribe, and become a member on Patreon, or buy me a blue milk coffee on Ku-Fi to support our upcoming Shadows of the Empire fan film.